how to take apart a sync 2 screen. As you see this one here is shattered. The only tools you'll need is a T20 and a T8. Now I've already taken off the brackets for the sides of them. And on the side of the radio screen you'll have the T8 screw. So I've already got one out. I'm going to take out this one here. Just to look. And you got these two here that you want to go and take out from the uh, screen. You should go ahead and just pop right on off. Alright, so I already went on and took off those four screws. And what I did here, I just kind of lifted outwards or up onto it. I kind of had to wiggle it back and forth because mine is actually damaged. Yours should just slide on out easy. Then you got this part here, the actual LCD screen. We move that part here, it actually just pulls right on out, just basically the same way as you took this cover off here. And just kind of, it's basically just held on by nothing, just pull it out. If yours still work, be gentle on it because there is a ribbon cable that is still attached to them. Now, to remove this big shiny ribbon cable, what you want to do. You can just even take your fingernail to it, but you just want to pull this little black cover piece up, right this piece here, up, and go and just unplug it. Mine just shot out, just like you've seen here. Then you are still connected down here. It's basically the same way right there where you see this black little tab there. So I pull both sides out onto it. I know my finger's in the way, but you want to go and pull both sides out, and it will just kind of unplug. And off it goes. I kind of had to work a little bit. I was kind of gentle with it, but this little black piece here, it just pushes in. Now, like I said, to take it off, you gotta do is just pull them out. Just like you see. Make sure it's pulled out all the way. You wanna kind of get this part here, this bottom part up and over, therefore you can go ahead and slide out the middle connector piece. I have to put it back on. Just basically vice versa. Slide this middle piece back in. Make sure those black tab is pulled out. Make sure you got the outer edge of this box here up against the connector, just like so. But the middle piece here will be actually inside the connector. And basically same way with this ribbon cable. Go ahead and put it into place. Make sure it's in all the way. And go ahead and close this little connector piece here. So the ribbon cable just looks somewhat similar to this, but all the way in, I'll push it in all the way. And go ahead and do your clear ribbon cable. Like I said, be gentle not to move this around too much or get cut on any sharp object. For this cable here, just sit it in just like so. You can see it almost just lines up perfectly on the edge. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. And go ahead and close this little flap down, just like so. Then go ahead and put your screen back on. Yes, I know this is still the broken one. This is a video to show you guys how to replace your screen. Then make sure you push it down inside all the way. Make sure that your holes are aligned up into place. On both sides. This one doesn't look like it is. So mine needs to be pushed inwards more. Like I said, make sure they both get lined up. Then go ahead and put your screen back together onto it. Push it into place. Then you go and put in your four screws. So when you put in this trim panel back on, the way I got is this little opening here. You should be able to see that ribbon cable on it then you know it's got it on the right way so then go ahead and put on your two screws and you're good to go on it so that's how you take apart the sync 2 screen thanks for watching